finally a builder that builds block over block other than DR Horton. A beautiful home behind me. Let's have a look. Let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, passion rules and guys finally I am with a builder that offers a lot more in their base price and not only that they are a full block construction uh, builder. They build the first floor with block and the second floor with block and everything that you get for the base price is just absolutely amazing as compared to the other builders surrounding the neighborhood and the house behind me is a three bedrooms two and a half bathroom two car garage with all the primary and secondary bedrooms upstairs. The first thing you are going to notice is that you have this nice cemented pad. It's a nice uh, a pad so you can have easily two cars over here another two car the stone elevation is included in the base price of this house for 489 but the other thing that i want to point out specifically with this builder is that their garages are one foot wider and one foot taller so it's a 16 foot by eight foot so that means that you, if you have a big car like F-150 or something, you can easily park it with a little lift behind it. So it really works out well. So that is something very, very unique with this builder. I've actually covered a di different model. If it's not released, it will be releasing very soon. So make sure to keep an eye out. So let's go over here. What I love about this house is that you have this really nice front posh area. Now with this builder, they have three different elevations. And the best part with the builder is that all your elevations are included in the base price. So if you want stone with most of the builders that I know, and I've been doing videos for a very, very long time. I've done over 300 plus models with most of the top builders in Central Florida, Tampa, Tampa Bay areas. And most of them will charge you extra for the stone elevation. With this builder, it is included. You have a stone elevation, you have a coastal elevation. It really depends. And I just love that you have this nice front porch on a beautiful sunny day like today. You can put one of those rocking chairs and just sit down, read a book, or just enjoy the view. And there's so many other unique things with this builder that I'm going to point out as we go in. So let's go inside and check this beautiful house out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful house. Now guys, I am trying to get you as many models as I could, and sometimes I come across the models that are not decorated, because the thing with the builder is that they will have like 10 different floor plans, and then they will only have two decorated or three decorated models. And I don't know about you, but for me, unless I can walk the physical house, it doesn't really make much sense. So that's why I try to get into as many homes as I possibly could. So I can show, hey, these are the 10 floor plans and everything looks like this. So talking about the house today, it's a, it's a three bedrooms, two and a half bathroom with a flex space downstairs. So one thing that is very unique to this builder, they call it a PO, which is a pocket office on a two story. You have a pocket office in your flex area and a pocket office upstairs. The other unique part is that the eight foot door is standard with the builder with the nine foot four ceiling height. It's a standard feature with the building. Usually in some of their models, the, the foyer height is 12. And then in the great room, your height actually goes up to 12 to 14 feet. So that is something to keep in mind. Now, this is your flex room right over here with this nice big window. Now guys, if you are building a brand new home, this is a great resource. We bring you eight plus homes throughout the month through Ocala, you know, Tampa, Tampa Bay, Central Florida areas. So if you are looking to build a brand new home, please make sure that you watch our playlist on all the things that we have done that would help you, like what kind of inspection you need to get. If you are going to go do a design center, what kind of stuff you need. So everything that you need to be able to make the right decision is there. And if you don't know about the community that we are in, we are actually in Parish, and we have another channel called Orlando Living With D. That's where I go into all the communities. We talk about school, shopping, dining, everything that you really need to know to make a decision. Hey, is Sarasota is better? Is this place going to be better? then you will be able to get some sort of a point of reference. Now, one thing that you do, I want to make sure that this room cannot be turned into a bedroom. And I don't know why, because the definition of a bedroom is basically 
you have a closet space and this is where they kind of did this pocket door right here like a PO uh, pocket office is what they call they could have easily made this in there and then close the wall and have a door but that is something you can do that because the definition of a bedroom is that you have a closet and a window and then they have this extra light now by the way guys if you are looking to buy the best possible deals that you are going to get would be on an inventory home because builders are doing a lot of things different and and they're buying down the rates some of the incentives include not only giving you 10 to 20 thousand for closing costs giving you all your appliances and giving you a rate buy down in some cases five percent five and a half percent or below six percent while the rates have gone to seven seven and a half and now i know guys what you guys are thinking yes things have become a lot more expensive and then the cost of the mortgage doesn't really make it affordable and the question you really need to ask yourself and i say this please take it with a grain of salt you got to see can you qualify in the current market with the current rates and current prices and if the answer to that is yes, then you should buy that because real estate is something you buy and hold. Real estate is not something that, that you kind of wait on and try to figure out the market and all that. Having said that, the grain of salt in me is telling me that you've got to make sure that it needs to work for you. And I always say this, the square footage, the lighting, the, the community, everything needs to work for you and your family situation. So as I come out now, by the way, this specific house, is available for sale it's an inventory home they reduced the price to 489,900 the base price of this house with this builder starts at 489,900 now this house has some upgrades including the tiles that you see on the floor they're going to have 17 by 17 tiles as a standard feature so that is something to keep in mind now over here you also have a a closet and the unique thing is it's a little bit of a deeper closet I've seen a smaller so it's really nice it could be more than a coat closet for two or three days that it gets cold in Florida now as I go over here you have your half a bathroom one thing that is also unique with the builder is you see how they have their mirrors most builders will have a rectangle or a square but this is something that they do very unique so that is unique to them and then I will go upstairs in just a moment but come over here and the whole thing opens up. I just love the fact that you have a window, a window, you have another panel of window. As you can see, I love my windows and why not? I mean, like I love the house to be nice and bright. Now this is an upgrade because when you build from scratch, you're gonna have this panel, this panel and this panel you're not going to have like this really nice beautiful window the lot size is 50 by 120 and the other unique feature with this builder is that your lot price is included but guess what guys the lot like this is 50 by 120 if you have a lot on a water or a conservation or something or a corner the lot size could be 50 by 130 which is deep enough especially when you build a two-story to build a really nice pool and then still have a yard for your four-legged friends that is something and it's in the price they don't charge you any extra so as long as the lot is available and you are first come first serve they will do that now this community does have a cdd which is 2468 and your HO is about 16 dollars and 33 cents it's located right off the main highway and you're just about 30 to 35 minutes um, depending upon traffic maybe sometimes 40 minutes to sarasota about 20 25 minutes to brandonton and if you want to know more about those communities make sure to check out orlando living and please press that thumbs up button show us some love because we put in so much effort it's free for you but it's going to immensely help us so our video is shown to more people that are looking to make a move so please keep that in mind and help us out a little bit so the YouTube love them love us you know we need someone else to love us too right so as you go over here look at this whole area you, the amount of lights that you have you know now this house is an upgrade in terms of the double tone that you see on the cabinets 42 inch cabinet is a standard feature. You get three different stain colors with the espresso or the dark espresso or the lighter one. But with this house, because this is an inventory home, you have this waterfall and, and you have this quartz over here. This is an upgrade. You're going to get your regular granite is what you get or quartz, depending upon if it's a bathroom or a kitchen area. And then the double cabinet or, or the double tone cabinet and the backsplash that you see over here is an upgrade you do get a ref, uh, you do not get a refrigerator washer or dryer however you get a conventional oven or a conventional range hood rather with this which is a standard feature with the builder and guess what it went outside hallelujah and then you have your microwave over here 
as you can see, and all your handles and everything is included. But the best part is, and I don't see this with other builders, but you have your refrigerator right here, and then you have this cabinet space included, and then there's some other unique features. So I go over here, and this is where you have your pantry area. So it's a really nice pantry with this nice big uh, window. But this door, like if you have a four-legged friend, you have their own bedroom, I guess, for, this, uh, for the sake of this conversation. So this is a place now what you can do, you have a window over here, but you can actually get a door if that's what you want to do. I did a model home where they kind of really made it really nice and they didn't have a door, but it does come with the door which you can easily take out so the dogs can come in, do their thing. And then you have a door that leads outside. You do have to pay extra. And the other very unique about this builder is that if you build from scratch, they give you a structural options, especially on their one story to kind of build in those skylights. So that is something that you can look into. And then on their single story your cathedral height could go as much as 12 to 14 feet so that is something to look into we'll be covering other model but let me go ahead and take you outside because I want to show you something you have a covered patio area right over here and with the permission of the HOA you can always screen this but look at the amount of space you get this is 50 by 120 going all the way where you see those marks you can have a really nice size pool with the with the with the with the covered lanai area and then you still have a little bit of room i mean like isn't that amazing and especially if you are on the water or on a corner then your lot is even bigger and the other unique feature is that because we are a little bit close to the coastal area you have the shutters which is actually included let me actually do this i want to show you something now please keep in mind guys i try to get into these homes as as early as i could and try to get them sometimes their homes are not like perfect perfect so just keep those and things in mind because this house is completely done and it's ready for sale but they're still finishing up few things but let me take you to this area now this is a drop zone i have seen with jones home and with other people they have some piece of furniture and stuff and i have two kids i would love they come from there they hang their bag they put their thing and then they are in the house i would probably have a cabinet or something but let me take you to their garage because i want to point a couple of things out for you in the garage area so as i mentioned it's a little bit more wider a little bit more taller but if you like your laundry or you want to to have the flushings for your for your um, laundry or just a sink or something or a wash station you can do that as an option. You do have to pay more for it. And then not every community is gonna have this bollard. And that's what they call it. For the longest time I've been talking about this poll and I got corrected that it's called a bollard is what it's called so that you don't kind of run into your own water heater. And the other thing is that this is a concrete block on the first floor and also on the second floor. So it's a concrete block. Now where I am from, I prefer homes that are blocked, but for the most part, in Central Florida and in, in, in quite a bit inside Tampa, Tampa Bay area, it's block and frame. Now with some builders right now, just building all frame, I'm not a huge fan of it just because culturally where I come from, I prefer house to be, you know, a solid block home because every time I look into it, it, it kind of reminds me, and I was with my son the other day, you know, they, there was a story of three little piglets, let me in, let me in. I think uh, one built a home with straw, another built a home with, uh, um, I, I don't know, um, wood. And I think the other one built a home with brick and then the wolf couldn't get it. But you get my point, but that's just a personal thing because you may be comfortable with it. It's a matter of personal choice. So let's go upstairs and check the rest of this beautiful house out. So as I come upstairs, I want to point out that you have this nice big window bringing in a good amount of light. But the other thing that I want to point out is that your eight foot door is a standard feature with the builder and your nine foot four ceiling height. So it's nine four and nine four. Most of the time the builders will have nine four on the first and then you have to pay for an upgrade for eight foot doors and then eight foot on the top. So with this builder, nine four, ceiling height first and second and eight foot doors solid doors you know i i love like looks really really good solid door right there and then right over here you have the 
flex area. Look at the amount of space that you have. Now with my kids and the amount of toys, they're gonna throw up everything everywhere. I would rather have them be here. And what I love about this is that you have another pocket door right over here. So this is fantastic, you know. So th this is really convenient. You know, you have the, the pocket office downstairs with the flex room. You also have this. This could be the kid's office, the kid's play area and all that. And then right over here is your master bedroom. And look at the amount of windows. The other thing that is a standard feature with the builder is that you get this marble thing as a standard feature. Now, this one does have extra light, which is a design feature. That is something that you would have to pay extra. But look at the size of this bedroom. Like, I just love, because I want to stand in the corner, but the best part that I love about this house is the windows, like the amount of light that comes in. It's a beautiful day today, and that is something to keep in mind. You know, this is Florida, it's nice, beautiful, and the next thing you know, it's pouring like no other day tomorrow and it's like dark. And that's why I like the house to be nice and bright. And especially when it's a flex room or it's a great room, I want to get those extra lights. So make sure you watch my video on design center options, do's and don'ts. And I just recently, I created a playlist with all the stuff because I learned a few things firsthand by building my own house. And I want you to watch that because if you are building a brand new home, thinking about building a brand new home, that playlist is a must. That playlist is a must. I spend a lot of time. And with my own personal experience, I can tell you the amount of things that I'm seeing. Because when the market was hot, the builders were building 40, 50, 60 houses starting in a month with four builders. There is no way on earth that one person can manage 10 houses and make sure that everything is done according to the, the, the code. And according to things get dropped because they are built by humans like you and me. And, and we want to make sure that you are paying a top dollar, so you better make sure that you get the top house. That is something to keep in mind. So make sure you watch that videos. It's going to help you immensely. I promise it will. So please spend the time and don't forget to subscribe. So let's go over here. The upgrade over here is in regards to the tiles that you see over here. You also see these tiles and the standard feature with the builder is that you get a garden tub. This is an upgraded tub with the upgraded faucet handles. So that is something to keep in mind. And the frameless shower is included in the base price. So you have these tiles going all the way up, which is a standard feature. Now, this is something that I wanted to point out, which is very unique with this builder. This is a Korean countertop with the built-in sink. Now you have a choice. You can get something like this, or you can get the, the Korean countertop with the sink, which are your traditional sink. So that is something. Now, the other unique part is that in your primary bathroom, you're going to have these pendle lights or these, these lights falling down. And then the main light, other than the coach lights that we see with most of the builders. And then right over here is your master closet area. So it's a little bit more deeper. I would have preferred a little bit more space, but it's kind of nice because it has that little corner. Trust me, that corner is good enough for me. As long as I have that corner to myself, I think I will be good. But let me go ahead and show you the secondary bedrooms and everything else. Now, if you have any questions about the current market, you're concerned about something, give us a call. Me and my team are here to help you and, and assist you to be able to, to walk you through the whole process because buying a home is a very emotional thing. And we want you to know that this is what we do for a living will be happy and guess what? Our service is paid by the sellers, so it doesn't really cost you, technic and technically speaking, anything other than you decide to have your eyes and ears on the ground with us, especially when you are relocating from a different state and you are not here. With my team, it is a standard that we go there every single month to do updated videos and pictures so that you have some sort of a log. So in that way you can keep an eye out on how the house is coming because that is exciting time. And one thing I will tell you, when you get to that point, you do want to make sure that you come down for your, your builder walkthrough or the blue tape. So you want to make sure that the pre-drywall inspection and your final inspection is a must because before this beautiful drywall goes up, there's a lot that happens behind, you know, so you want to make sure that everything is done correctly. This is something that I highly, highly recommend. As a matter of fact, I have actually done a video with my personal inspection guy that 
basically talks about the importance of things that you need to do. But look at the amount of space you have over here. I just love the ceiling height because this is something that I don't see. And then I also love the fact that you have this solid eight foot door, a sliding door, which is something with other builders, they have like the split ones or the other ones that does not really do much service to us because for the life of me, I keep on messing that up for one reason or other. And then over here, you have the bathroom and this is what I was talking about. Now this is an upgrade, so keep that in mind. And you have this underbelt, so with the Korean countertop, you can have a Korean countertop with the, with the, with the underbelt uh, wash station as you see over here. Uh, or you can have it built in the Korean as we saw in the master bathroom. And then the other thing is that you have this plain subway tile. I would have preferred for it to go all the way up. Now, I always say this, guys, the square footage shouldn't really matter as much as it should be the flow of the house. The flow of the house is more important than the square footage. Yes, the bedroom and bathroom is important because you need to know the structure in terms of your family. If you need to have two or three bathrooms, that is something that you need to make sure that it works for you. But the flow of the house has to make sense instead of just having like three, four, five, six bedrooms that you may or may not need. So that is something to keep in mind. Then right over here is your laundry. So you have your laundry upstairs. Now it's not really big for a wash station or something, but however, it's comfortable size. And then you can always put the cabinets if that is what you want to do. I love that you have the same tile. And guys, remember, if you love this house, make sure to let us know because it is available at the time of the shoot. So give us a call and if it's not available, we, we have a really good inventory list and we can tell you because in terms of the closing cost and prepaid with this builder, they're right now giving you $10,000 in closing cost and prepaid, their base price, they're giving you a lot of stuff included. But look at the size of this bedroom and I do my standard. Now you do get carpet in all the bedrooms and all the wet areas are going to be 17 by 17 tile. Yes, there is a CDD as I mentioned. And then right over here is your walk-in closet with a single door and a window. I hope our video brings in a lot of value. Please put that in the comment. What do you think of this specific builder in terms of the price? Because if you are looking to buy a house and you've been looking in Brenton and, and Sarasota area, they're a lot more expensive than everything that is coming to Parish. And if you haven't, just Google that area because there's so much growth. It's like Claremont in Central Florida where it was nothing but farmland and now the builder are doing what they are doing. There's a lot of things that is coming. There's a lot of infrastructure that is coming. And, and you want to make sure when you go into an area, if there is a lot of growth coming and you are able to buy at the right time, then you're going to have that upswing because there's so much that's going to come. There is, there's commercial things planned in this area. There's going to be, uh, I think there's master plan communities, schools, everything that is going to be coming. So that is something that to look in. And if you've been thinking about retiring and, and you don't want to be right by the water, maybe a little bit inwards, maybe not so much towards Central Florida, Orlando area, then this could be a really big contender. Well, make sure to give us a call. We are here to help and serve you. We really, really appreciate you watching our videos. Make sure to check out Orlando Home Show in Espanol run by amazing Carolyn Maldonado and Anna Karina because my Spanish, I think I've given up on that. And then also to check out Orlando Living. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, bye for now.